Hello guys, today I'm gonna explain to you a Discord application bot which goes in the name Appy. So first thing first, you're gonna click on get started. You'll have to be logged into your account in your browser, so I am already. So just click on authorize. And then after that, come to Discord server. And as you can see, I created already a category named staff. I'll create two channels, okay? So the first will go in the name of staff for the applications, okay? And then the other one, it goes in the name of Appia, for example. And this one is going to be private. And this is the room or the channel where the applications are going to be in. For example, I'm going to select only the staff role can see that. So, yeah. You come back to Appy. Okay, it asks again for a server. Right. Okay, give it authorize. Right. Not sure. Okay, the bot is not there. It will have to invite the bot. You come down, select your server. The one is, um, this is it, Annexis AVT. So I'm going to invite the bot. You'll do the same steps, continue, give it administrator, and then just authorize. Done. Now, what you're going to do is, as you can see, the bot is there. You can give it a role if you already have some bot roles. I don't have some, I'm not going to do that. After you create the channels, you're going to go to the roles. And now we're going to create some rules that we'll need in this tutorial so the first one is actually an accepted rule so which goes in the staff test for example which it is the rule that i'm gonna give for the people that i will accept save changes and then the second rule is going to be for the denied people okay denied or the rule is for the people who already made an application which is waiting for example or queued staff app for example and another rule for the staff that I already kicked, which goes in the name of blacklist. Save changes, right? And then you will come back to the dashboard, click on your server configure, and then come to applications, click on new application. Okay, it appears. Let me give it a name, staff. Okay, staff one. New application, right? Okay, click on it. Enable. And the name of application goes right here. And then logging channel, which is the channel that the applications will be sent to. It is the appy room I just created. In the accepted message, you can edit it here. It's going to appear as staff one and then has been accepted by the user who accepted this application. And then the denied message, it goes in the same thing. Just when you deny someone, this one is going to be sent. And when you accept someone, this one is going to be sent. And then the confirmation, I actually prefer to let just like here and then restricted rules, the people who can't actually send applications. So for this one, I'm gonna select two rules because it's the limit in this bot. If you want to be able to select more than two rules, you will have to pay for API. So the first restricted rule is denied. And then the second one is blacklist, right? and then I come down required rules the rules that the people need to have in order to be able to perform an application uh, I actually don't have any so I'm not gonna select that and then for the accepted rule which is when you accept a person which rules is him is he going to get for my server I'm gonna select staff test I just created and then um, and then denied rules it just it just means the rule that the bot is gonna give to the person that you deny so it is denied where is it okay it's here and then ping rules it is the rules which are going to be pinged when an application is made so in my case i'm gonna select staff and then accepted removal rules the rules that are going to be removed once the person has been accepted in my case it is actually queued staff app and here it is the same thing when you deny someone it is the queued okay and then the pending rules the rule that the person is going to get once he's been once he submits the application but he is not accepted or denied yet which is the q1 queued staff app right and then the completion message your application has been submitted okay i think it is enough you can you can't actually edit it because you will need premium version of this bot okay and then okay this ones you can edit them because i don't have actually the premium of this bot and then here are the questions okay so let me just remove them all i'm gonna make new ones new question new question and then new multiple choice question okay Okay, so for the for the first question, what is your name? And here it goes. Why did you choose us? Okay. And then here, do you like potatoes? <laughs> I'm gonna actually put, are you plus 15 years old? Okay, so, so the choices I will let is yes and no. You can actually make a new one, okay? But I don't want it. I think this is enough. Well, is it really enough? Maybe. Okay, this is just a video, so, this, so it does not really matter. Okay, as you can see, I just saved. And yeah, we made an application. Now it's the time for a panel, right? The one that we're gonna send in this channel, right? 
in this channel staff so now we're gonna click on new panel okay let me delete the old one okay so now it's time for a new panel you're just gonna give it a name for example stuff one app locations okay new panel and then you can edit the name you can edit this description but i prefer to not do so here is the channel where the panel is going to be sent i'm gonna select staff applications it is the staff one of course the one that ju we just made and yeah, the other options are actually premium. There are just a bunch of options that you will need for the embed. And yeah, click on save. It will not be okay. It's already sent. That's 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 amazing. If you want to edit this one, it's just so easy. You just come back here, come here again, edit. For example, I'm gonna edit the description. Let's go. Okay, and then click on save. I think it will be edited. Okay, and you can just edit the old one. So or delete it. I mean delete it. And now let's test it out. Staff one. Click me, okay, in DMs. I want to apply, what is your name? Anixis. Why did you choose us? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Are you 15 plus years old? Yes, I am, I'm actually 19. Okay, application for stuff one, your application has been submitted. And now if you come back to the server, come back to Appy, as you can see, the application has been sent. If I click on accept, guess what's going to happen? Okay, couldn't assign staff. Okay, okay. So this is a problem that can appear to you. The fix is just so easy. Come back to server settings, go to rules, come down to the API rule and just give it a higher, a higher position, right? Um, where is it? Okay, it's here. Let me just come back again. Let me try it again. Come to staff, start a new application, right? You, you unselected, uh, okay, let me select another one. Okay, let's start it. Let's go. Hey, hey man, what's up? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, never mind. What is your name? Anixis. I don't know, 41. Um, no. <laughs> Okay, okay, it's done. Now come back to Annexus AVT, click here. For example, I'm gonna accept with a reason. Deserve it, deserve it, G. Submit. Okay. It says accepted, and guess which role I will have right now? I have the staff test, right? And uh, as you can see, the message is deserve it, G. And I think I received it in the DMs. Yup, I did. I hope this video is gonna help you. And if it did, don't forget to like, subscribe, to a good comment, and goodbye. See you. Eid Mubarak for the Muslims out there. Goodbye.